What's up team, it's your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this video we're talking about artificial intelligence taking your job. Yep, that is correct. A computer is going to take your job from you and you are going to be left destitute and have to depend on the government for all of your living, all of your income, all of your happiness, all of everything. That is complete nonsense. But the, uh, I mean, robots are going to take your job. Computers, computers, artificial intelligence is going to take your job. But that doesn't mean that, that, that you will be poor and destitute. And here's why, team. Let's get into it. All right, team. It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, And I'm recording this video because I have started to see a lot more traffic about artificial intelligence and how it's going to impact us in the workplace. Now, this hasn't made its way into the mainstream media just yet, but politicians are starting to talk about it there has been talk about it before but most of this talk is around universal basic income this is where the government pays you just to exist I, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work from a, a purely economic standpoint it seems like complete nonsense we'll be battling with things like inflation on a scale that we've never imagined if we do something like like this especially if it's, it's government controlled but anyway, team, let's never mind that. We are here because we think a little bit different. We're not necessarily concerned about, about what the government is going to do. A lot of us probably expect the government to do little to nothing. And if they do try to do something, they'll probably get it all wrong because they have no idea what, 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 what's going on out here for the most part. Now, there are some people in government, they know exactly what's going on. That's because they have been in our shoes. They've done the things that we're doing right now. They've dealt with these, these kinds of situations where technology is moving in to replace their jobs. Some politicians, they are on that level, but a lot of politicians, they are career politicians. They have never owned a business. They have never had a real job. They've never been to war. They've never served in the military. They've never been a doctor, nurse, lawyer, whatever. There's a lot of politicians out there like that. But anyway, team, what I'm saying, right now right here right now is we don't need to depend on anybody else we are moving into a new economy one that makes it possible for each and every one of us to do exactly what it is we enjoy doing and earn a living while doing it now some of you out there like Cass well how do you do something like this to be honest I and no one else can tell you how you can do something like this. You just have to get to know yourself and understand the world that you are living in and the rules that you have to play by. And then you take that knowledge and you mash it together with that thing that you're good at and you put it out into the marketplace and you see if you can sell some sort of product or service behind it. That is it. That is what every business is built on. What I have just given you is an MBA in about 30 seconds. Okay, well, not well. There's a there's a lot more complicated complicated things involved in running a business but hey look man at some point you're just gonna have to start we have been told we have been hearing the old days are over you cannot go out and get a job and stay there for 20 years and then have them pay for you to live in retirement as, as long as you as you live and I mean there's like this whole complicated mechanism behind pensions and retirement funds and social security and all these different things and this video isn't for that for us to get into those things in particular there's a lot of complexity that 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 has to be that has I don't even know how to put it man jeez basically team the deal is 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 right take take me for instance I have a natural talent for being able to speak to a large number of people, whether it be on stage or in person or just talking into a camera and putting it on the internet and having hundreds of people come and just and literally watch the things that I'm talking about. Now, in order for me to get the, the, these thoughts out of my head and to you where you can see them, where you're watching them right now, there's a bunch of different things that I have to understand along the way. I have to understand technology. I have to understand how YouTube works. To some degree, I have to understand how software works. I have to understand how this camera works so I can record the video. And then I have to get the video from the camera to the computer and I have to get it from the computer to the internet. And then I have to put the title right and I have to put tags in there and all these other things so people can find it on the internet. And then people comment and I reply to the comments. There's this whole process. The point that I'm making right now is that these things can be applied to just about anything. If you like baking cakes, if you like painting action figures, if you like playing video games, if you whatever, whatever it is you like, you can probably make some sort of living from it if you figure out how to produce value for other 
people. In these videos, what I'm doing is instead of coming here and telling you, hey, do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, what I want to do is I want to convey to you the base level of knowledge of how to go out and solve your own problems and sort of figure out your own way in the world. And for me right now, I believe that an understanding of technology and an understanding of where things are going is what's going to help you the most in the long run. So what I'm saying is, is, let's say for instance, I don't know why, but motorcycle mechanic popped into my head. If you were a motorcycle mechanic, you can think through this whole thing. What happens if I lose my job tomorrow? What would I do? Would I go out to another, another shop and get another job as a mechanic? Well, what if I could not find another job as a motorcycle mechanic, but I love working on motorcycles? I could go out and start my own business repairing motorcycles. Well, how do I do that? You do that by starting right now. What you do is you take your knowledge and your skill set and you figure out how to turn it into some sort of product or service that people who ride motorcycles can use. You take that thing and you build yourself a little website and you put it online and you write about the things that you're doing or you record videos about them or you make a podcast about them. And people will come to listen to what you have to say because you have an expertise that they don't. They are looking for some sort of value and in from from the people who come and see you some of those people they're gonna one want you personally to fix their motorcycle or build them a motorcycle or make recommendations to them or whatever it is this is the economy that we're moving into in the new economy we will all be our very own business owners a lot like it was in the past before before America way back in the 16, 17, 1800s, if you were a peasant and you wanted to get out of peasantry, if it were even possible, like maybe you were an indentured servant or something, or something like that. I don't know about, I don't know about the indentured servitude situation, but let's just say, for instance, you had, you had an option to live the way you wanted to live. You would come up with a way to do that, right? Maybe it would be growing food. You would grow food and you would grow enough food for you to eat and live the life you want to live and the excess food you could sell, which would give you the money to buy the supplies you need to be able to grow more food. And if you wanted to get bigger, you could say, hey, I'm gonna hire people to help me grow more food. And if you wanted to get bigger, you would hire more. This is how businesses are built. And this is how businesses are going to be built in the future, I believe. Now, here's the here's the thing, right? We only have about three to six years before artificial intelligence really starts to disrupt everything. Right now, the biggest push in artificial intelligence, well, there's two. There is the, the information gathering and advertising and marketing. Then you have the actual physical world. There are jobs that are being performed every day that we can use computers to either help Help us do them better or we can use computers to do the job altogether. and one of those industries is trucking the ability for a truck to get on the highway and just go and not need a person steering the truck and thinking about everything that's going on that is highly beneficial to a business now they can operate possibly with less truck drivers or or they can pay truck drivers less because they'll require less of truck drivers. I mean, I I don't know exactly what it is. Only somebody, only the people who run trucking companies know exactly what it's going to be. And they know exactly how it's going to affect truckers. So if you're out there and you're a trucker, start looking around for that information and see how it's going to affect you. Now, what if you just love trucking? You just, that's your thing. You want to do it forever. You just want to drive your truck. You have to think about that. If this company is going to replace me with some sort of machine, I'm going to be ass out. I'm not going to have any options. So the very first thing I should start thinking about whether or not I can run my own trucking business and be able to compete against these machines and if you believe you can then your next move is to go out and find yourself a truck so you can start trucking for yourself instead of trucking for somebody else and that's the whole point of this video is it's time to start thinking about how you are going to help yourself there is no need and it is completely nonsensical foolishness to believe that some sort of government is going to come in and save you as we have seen time and time again it doesn't matter who's in office it doesn't matter who's president none of this stuff matters government typically jacks things up some things they get right but a lot of things they get wrong but we can both agree that the people who do the best are the people who go i don't really need the government's help i'm going to go out here and i'm going to figure this out on my own there is a problem in the marketplace and i 
can solve it and they set out to do that thing and you can start now on a very small scale you can put together a course you can write a book you can create a product you can create a service you can go out you can sell these things on eBay and on Amazon and on hundreds of other websites and I'm not gonna give you all the answers right you just have to go to Google now I'm gonna tell you this isn't easy it's hard for me it's hard for everybody it's not an easy thing to figure out how to start and grow your own business organically but here's the deal so what if it's hard it's not gonna get any easier and as time marches on over the next three to five years the pressure is gonna be more and more and more and more so now is the time to start figuring it out alright team that is it if you got something to say about this video leave some comments in the notes below if you want a hat like this check out writecodedrinkcoffee.com and if you've been thinking about learning to code check out the code 365 startup lab Dot com where you can find courses and junk about how to code, build websites, build web applications. So for those of you out there who've had this idea in your head, I want to build a website, I want to build a web application, I want to build whatever, check out the Code 365 Startup Lab. It is a fantastic introduction into the world of coding. And you can also just go to Google and search for how to code or how to build rocking chairs or weave baskets or all kinds of other stuff. All right, team, I will see you in the next video. I got some stuff to do. I gotta record another video for the Code365 Startup Lab.